Why a presidential system rather than the Westminster system? Westminster, I'm afraid, um, well, I put it this way. What is necessarily good for Australia cannot be necessarily good for Papua New Guinea. And I think that we should have a system of government uh, which is suitable to the needs of the country um, in order to create this, this political stability that one's, one hears about. Um, but if we are forced to follow completely um, all the way with Australia and the Westminster type of government, uh, and if political instability does come, I will say to you, you're to blame, brother. You mean the presidential system? No, I'm talking about the Westminster. No, no, I'm sorry, but why you want a presidential system is, is it because it makes for a stronger central government? Not only less does, divided. Not only does it make it stronger, but you remove the power from the floor outside. See? Secondly, you create these provincial assemblies uh, in which the president can delegate certain autonomy to the provinces. Because if we are to keep on holding on to a strong central power, as Canberra would like us, then I envisage that come the time when this separatist movement, left, right and centre, uh, who am I going to blame for this? Well, do you think that there will be separatist movements after self-government or after independence? It depends upon the system of government. If we have a system of government uh, which really uh, is relevant to Papua New Guinea and then creates and, and, and delegates authority to the provinces and to the councils, I think that it may be able to hold the country together.